Test 4.2 review. Let's look at question number seven. These instructions say for the following, determine if the binomial is a linear factor of the polynomial. Your answer is going to be a yes or a no. So you're going to um, be asked that same question and shown a problem like this. And when I'm asked about linear factors, yes or no, I'm coming to my notes that say polynomial linear factors. I'm going to follow these rules. Remember that is we're going to do our synthetic division. That's why it's already written in a division uh, question style. So you know I need to divide. Um, synthetic division is the easiest um, one of our division uh, ways here. And if there is a remainder, then my answer is no. And if there is not a remainder, my answer is yes. So let's look at our synthetic division. Hopefully you remember. That is where we're making that big L shape. Okay. I'm putting this number on the outside, but I'm changing the sign. So negative 3. And then the numbers in front are going to go up top. Remember two things. Remember that my signs travel with, so this is just positive 1. This one's going to be negative 1, negative 11, positive 13. Remember my signs travel with my numbers. Another thing to remember is that all of my exponent numbers need to be there. So we've got on number 8, we've got 4, 3, 1. So we need to add in 0m squared. Make sure you put that 0 in your division. All right. So we are looking for this last number right here, if there's a number here or not. So let's go through our steps. We drop down this first number, 1. Okay. We're going to take Outside times outside, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. And then I'm adding these, negative 1 minus 3, negative gets bigger, so it's negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. Negative 11 plus 12, positive 1. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 13 minus 3 is 10. Okay. Before I go any further, I do want to say, remember, sometimes we're getting messed up with the signs. Um, if that is one of your issues, and especially if you start getting really big numbers down here, um, maybe you want to check your math, your multiplication, and your adding and subtracting in the calculator. A lot of us are going to want to make this a positive number in some form or fashion. Um, but if we got a negative minus 3, then that's negative 4. Easily checked in the calculator, just enter it in negative 1 minus 3, and the answer is going to be negative 4. All right, to answer our question that we are doing here, there is a remainder. So no, this is not a factor of this.